Hello class, in this, this is chapter 3.2 and in this video I am going to discuss general solutions of nth order differential equations. So remember that our equation is going to be of this form. And let's consider the homogeneous equation first. This is homogeneous. So this is equal to zero. So it turns out there will exist n independent solutions to this. We, let's label them y1, y2, y3, to yn. In this case, the general solution, after you've used the Ronskin or whatever to show that this is really linearly independent, General solution will just be y equals c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus plus c n y n. They're that simple. So you just have to take a combination of all the n independent solutions and your general solution will look like this. And if you have initial values, you can plug those in to try to solve for what the cn's are. So what's interesting is uh, the inhomogeneous equation. Let's consider that. That's going to be yn plus p1 xy n minus 1 all the way down to pn x y equals fx. Now for this solution, uh, for, for the final general solution for this equation, you have to first, step 1, find one solution let's call it y special, ys, to inhomogeneous. And two, add the sl general solution. Oops, oh, let me make sure this is right. Nah, this is, writing is terrible. So we add the general solution y to homogeneous. So in other words, the general solution to the inhomogeneous equation is going to be ys plus c1y1 plus c2y2 plus c n y n from here. And this is going to be our general solution. So let me explain a little bit why this works. So your y s, you plug y s in into this equation, you get f x. And if you add all the y 1s, y 2s, y 3s, y 4s to the solution, you just, you're just adding 0 to the right hand side. So you keep adding 0 to the right hand side because um, all these y's will give you 0 on the right hand side. When you add them to your solution in the inhomogeneous equation, you're, you're, just add, you're just adding zeros to fx. So you get the same solution. So anyway, you have n parameters, so you know that this will cover all your equations. So th that's how it is. So in general, when you're solving linear equations, you have to find a single solution to the inhomogeneous equation. Then just f add the general solution for the homogeneous equation to get the general solution that you want. And that's all there is to it.